more on that, let's bring in Cara Wang. She is the Assistant Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So, Cara, the e-commerce industry has more than doubled in the last five years. Now, obviously, this means that there has been a tremendous increase in packaging, more cardboard, mm -hmm. more plastic, more of those plastic pillows. So how much of an impact is the yes, global e-commerce boom having on the environment? Well, um, in fact, let me start to say um, the environmental impacts of packaging is not a new problem in this country. Uh, even before the boom of e-commerce, uh, packaging has already accounted for about one quarter to one third of the solid waste in the U.S. And now with the boom of e-commerce, definitely the situation is getting worse. In 2014, for example, the U.S. has produced over 35 million tons of cardboard. And e-commerce companies are among the main users of these cardboards. And I also want to mention that cardboard is not the only factor that e-commerce impacted our environment. Um, we can do some easy math. The 35 million tons of cardboard, if we divide it by uh, an average 20 tons of truckload, that means uh, about 2 million trucks. In other words, we're, we can say that uh, just by transporting those packaging material itself has produced a huge amount of truck traffic, which means even more uh, environmental impacts. Um, so overall, we can say that e-commerce has brought huge impact on environment. So certainly a big carbon footprint, like you say, from the delivery trucks to the actual cardboard and plastic. But e-commerce is growing. It's about 9% of retail sales. Do you think that this mm -hmm. issue of waste may uh, deter some environmentally conscious consumers and that that could impact the growth of the sector? Uh, that could be. I think public awareness is increasing, and the more and more customers are uh, realizing this problem. Uh, previously, I think most of the consumers are just uh, care too much about the satisfaction of getting their products as fast as possible at their doorstep, uh, even when it's not their urgent need. But now, a lot of consumers demand the retailers to put sustainability in their consideration. Well, exactly to that point, Amazon has gotten uh, some consumer feedback and they have developed a sustainability division. So what are companies yes. like Amazon and the likes doing to try and be more environmentally conscious? Um, as far as I know, I think almost all the companies now in the commerce sector are trying to do something to improve the situation and try to be more responsible. Amazon, just as you mentioned, they have tried to improve their packaging and uh, one strategy they have is they try to only use the size of uh, the packaging that is consistent with the size of the product. And other than Amazon, we can also see the packaging uh, industry. They are looking into innovations to try to use more of the compostable, recyclable materials. And then also uh, trucking companies, UPS, FedEx, USPS, they're also trying to improve their uh, packaging, shipping, and vehicle routing uh, to reduce the environmental impact. But uh, that being said, uh, we can also understand that uh, environmental impact is not the only consideration for these companies. Uh, for most of them, the primary concern is still uh, product protection and then cost of the packaging materials and then also how convenient it is for them to process the packages. And sometimes for some products, we also need to consider the branding and presentation. Uh, so I would say uh, overall, the companies are all trying to be more responsible, trying to be more sustainable, but it's also a very challenging trade-off for them. Definitely challenging and could also translate into higher costs and uh, smaller bottom lines. I want to touch on that point that you made about those uh, more organic packaging materials because we are seeing mm. a movement where some companies are using everything from mushroom fibers to corn stalk yes. and resin instead of plastic and cardboard. Do you see that yes. becoming more mainstream? And if so, when? Uh, yes, I think uh, those are very good ideas. And uh, we've already seen some, uh, some of these good ideas being implemented. In addition to the material you just mentioned, also bamboo is one of the excellent natural fiber that can be used in green packaging. And I already see a boom of the green packaging 
uh, industry. And I think with the increase of public awareness, we're going to see more business opportunities in green packaging sector. All right, we're going to have to leave with that. Thank you so much, Cara Wang, Assistant Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute.